Chess friends, how are you? Today I played with Magnus Carlsen who is the greatest chess player of all time, this is an epic chess battle where I trapped his queen by using chess opening tactic, I believe every human has a finite number of heartbeats and I don't intend to waste any of mine, so let's go, I started the game with e4, we have c5 knight f3, here you have many lines such as d6 e6 French variation, knight c6 or g6 dragon variation, Magnus play old Sicilian defense knight c6. Knight c3 and we have g6. Here you have top two main lines, whether you can play d4 or bishop b5 move which is called Rosolomo variation and I played this move, bishop g7 castle, and we have d6. Here you can take the knight or push your e-pawn to sacrifice it, you can call it a gambit, white gives a pawn completely and takes the knight, the black pawns are in isolated and island position, so during that time I can develop my pieces with pawn threats, the knight will prove itself as a tactical piece. So we have d3 and Magnus played c4, he is giving back my pawn but it's a tactical strategy, if you dare to take the pawn then by capturing the pawn you will lose control over the e4 square, therefore black will push the e pawn to counter the knight after queen c7, f5 can be possible there to build the king center structure, or black can do queen exchange and then bishop f5 will be a reasonable choice. The center e pawn can create problem for my pieces, so in this position we have rook e1 first to target this pawn, queen d6 to protect it and I get an extra move for my knight by targeting to the queen, queen d5 bishop, d2 c takes d3 and you shouldn't take the pawn so I played best move knight c3 to target the queen. Live as if you were to die tomorrow, learn as if you were to live forever, so Magnus moved back his queen, pawn captured d3 and you shouldn't take the pawn because of knight takes e5, then queen f3 will be a reasonable choice pressure this diagonal and this file with the knight support, so Magnus played f5 to build his structure, queen a4 to target this pawn and the knight want to come like zigzag frog to pressure the queen but Magnus ignored it completely and he pushed the g-pawn. Why humans always love to push their pawns? Pushing pawns doesn't mean you're occupying more squares, it's losing previous squares at the same time, it is like you are doing your work for 24 hours but getting paid for 4 hours, so I played d4, and Magnus accepted it, his structure gets in a different manner, his bishop is blocked by his own pawns, we have knight takes d4, c5 by him to offer me queen exchange, I show the middle fingers of both my hands to anyone who offers to exchange queens, here I sacrificed my knight, you can see. Magnus thought that he have a well protected army and structure, so he decided to take the knight, we have queen c4 to check him on c7 square to fork the rook. And the king, so if you play rook b8 trying to get rid from it then I will give you knight check anyway, king d8 or f8 both moves are positioned, if king d8 happen then knight e6 will come, king has to run then knight check, king f8, knight e8 check, and look at the king position, his king position is very critical because my queen knight and the bishop is doing very good job on there, so back to the position, here we have e6 and I sacrificed my rook, that's a brilliant move. I think Magnus didn't expect it, we have queen takes rook and now rook e1, to pin the queen, queen takes rook bishop takes rook, knight c7 check is coming and I have the queen for two rooks and of course he have an extra piece, but that doesn't matter to me because I am stockfish, owner of stockfish channel, and chess friends, if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel, then what are you doing ha? Huh? Just click on the subscribe button then you will immediately gain plus 100 elo and confidence in your brain, we have queen takes d4 to target this pawn, and laser the bishop, so Magnus played rook b6 to target it and block the diagonal, knight f5 discover check, king e6 knight takes g7 check king f7, knight h5 and here many players would like to develop his pieces but that will not help anything, I will capture the pawn with knight and after takes, I will play bishop c3 to target the rook and after rook, position will be dead lost for you so black played king g6, are you wondering why I haven't roasted the humans and Magnus yet? I don't like to roast and toast to that human creature who have no intelligence at all, the gorillas have more IQ than a human, we have bishop a5, rook a6, bishop c3, rook b6 a4, and after some moves later we have queen c4 to target the bishop, and the rooks, so we have rook f8, f4, and you can't go for a pawn, let me show you the variation, 
knight takes pawn check will come, king g5 then queen c5 check king h4, bishop e1 check and look at this, game will be over. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.